I think that a friend is someone you can just sit with without any pressure without any worries, someone you can look right in the eyes and say hi to. And I appreciate the fact that you're looking me in the eyes. Has Trip redefined your definition of love? Yes, very much. When he was born, you think you couldn't love uh, someone more, but going through something this traumatic and having your whole life turned upside down, you realize what unconditional love is. Me and my husband, from the day of the accident, we actually, I remember, locked ourselves in the bathroom and had a really, really deep discussion about how we would proceed. And we both agreed it would always be positive in front of trip. We would always be up building. And if we had a bad day or we struggled, then um, we'd go hide <laughs> for a little bit. And then we'd come back and be positive for him. A lot of times when trip tries to connect with you, he'll definitely look you in the eyes. He will blink a lot to let you know he's listening. I hope, trip that everyone in the world gives you the time you deserve and the attention you deserve. Because I can tell when I look into your eyes that you have an understanding about you and a perception of the world around you. It, it can be intimidating because like you see here, Trip just sort of, you know, just sort of stares you down and doesn't smile. And um, they just have to realize that he is hurt. He does have something wrong with him and that it's okay still to come up to him, to touch him, try to talk to him, even if they don't get a reaction. You know, he can hear your voice and he knows that you're trying. As I'm looking you in the eyes, I can tell how smart you are. Yeah, you, <laughs> my new friend. I can tell by the way you're moving your head when I talk to you. You are a smart and cool guy. With some deep blue eyes. Handsome man. Trip was only two years old. He was at daycare and unfortunately a strong wind came by and it blew a tree limb down out of, the, out of a tree and it landed straight on his head. And what it did was crushed his skull and it damaged most parts of his brain. So from then on, he is known as a TBI with a traumatic brain injury and we've just getting a little bit better ever since that day. The most difficult is just thinking what you, your life should have been like what you had planned out when you first get married and you first have a baby and you just expect everything to be perfect and this fairy tale and then everything just gets thrown upside down. So especially with the accident. So it's just, it's changed our perspective on a lot of things. So that's, it's a struggle not to, to look back to what you think your life should be like. I was at work. So and I got a call from the daycare saying that I needed to come immediately, that something had happened to Trip but they didn't tell me exactly what had happened. And I said, okay, so I told my work that I would be back in just a little bit. I had to go check on trip. So I get in the car, I head there, they get a, another call. And they said, now you need to meet us at the hospital. And so I was a little more worried, but I was still like, okay, people go to the hospital for broken arms, broken legs. So I didn't ask any questions. To this day, I don't know why I didn't ask. Um, so I drove a little faster. Um, the third phone call I got, they told me that he was being airlifted to the Children's Hospital in Atlanta. And that's why I knew something was seriously wrong. When this is your day-to-day -day life and it's your reality, does it get easier quickly? Um, it depends on the day, kind of like with Trip. Um, once you get into a routine, it, it, is, it is pretty easy. You just flow into it. But then, unfortunately, with a child like Trip, the unexpected always happens. We are in the hospital a lot more than the average child. Um, and then those will throw you for a loop because it is very, very scary every time he goes into the hospital. So I flew to the hospital. I got there and when I saw Trip, he actually looked perfect. He just was unconscious, but he was laying there. Uh, no blood, no anything. He just looked amazing. So we didn't realize how bad it was until the doctor called us out into the hallway to talk to us. And the, he then informed us that there's a good chance that Trip wasn't going to make it. He said he was severely, severely damaged. Um, everything was crushed and they got no response and they wasn't, weren't sure what was gonna happen. I absolutely agree, I grew up in a bubble and didn't really understand the outside world until Tripp's accident. And now there's so many things I've learned and so many things that I've changed my mind about. And yeah, just don't take anything for granted. Just try to enjoy every minute of everything with your children because they grow up so fast and things can happen so fast that will just change your world. Honestly, me and my husband, if he doesn't get a, 
a second better than he is right now, we're fine with that. You know, we've we've accepted this as part of our life now. Um, we want him to get better, but if not, we make the best of every situation and we just try to keep him happy and that's our goal in life. Can you describe to me the first time Tripp smiled after this incident? Oh, the first time he smiled. We, he, it had been years since he got hurt and that's all I ever prayed for. I'm just like, I miss his smile. He had the best smile because he was two when the accident happened and he was just such a happy, happy kid. And the first time we just got a little smile was actually in the hospital. Um, and he was headed to a surgery and we were just telling him how everything was going to be okay. And he cracked a little smile and it just, it was the best day since the day of the accident that we had had. We were so proud of him. Is there anything society as a whole could do to make your family's life better? Um, that's an interesting question. So just be kind and stop bullying people. Wow, it's just everybody is different. Um, we shouldn't be expected to be the same. Have you ever had to deal with judgment from others? Every day. So unfortunately, uh, it comes with the territory. I am very honest and I choose to put our life out there for everyone to read. So it's just a part of life these days that you're going to get judged for what you do and, and sometimes more harshly than others. Um, and I do try to explain my actions, even though I don't have to, but I really want people to understand the decisions we make and why we make them, and it's always in the best interest of Trip. Fortunately, we didn't get too many smiles today, but just the fact that he smiles now, that he, you can tell he knows what's going on, and we didn't have that for the longest time. Like, he gets excited now when we put him in the car. Um, he smiles when we tell him that, you know, we're going to do something fun or we're going on vacation or I'm going to read him a book and you can just tell the emotions are there and we had no emotions for so long that anytime, whether it's a good emotion or a bad emotion, uh, just makes me happy that he's actually, he's in there and we can communicate in somewhat. I'm really happy that I get to spend my afternoon with you, Trip. Just sitting on the couch, hanging out, having fun. I'm having a really good time with you, man. And you got out of school for this. I'm sure you're happy too. If it's an intentional blink, it's longer, usually. If it's a, he will definitely like close his eyes for a definite yes, if you ask him a question. If he's just listening to you, he still will close it just to let you know. Um, if his eyes are not focused on you and he's just blinking like the average person, then no. He's, He's not exactly aware that day. What has Trip taught you about what it means to be human? Whew. Um, that nothing's ever perfect, no matter what it looks like on the outside. Everybody has problems. But he has taught me that no matter what you face, you can always have a good attitude about it.